travels. I am now here in Intramuros, the All Gold City in Manila. For 400 years, Intramuros served as the center of the Spanish occupation. It is originally built to be the residence for Spanish government officials and for their families. Casa Manila is a museum located inside the Intramuros. It is an imposing stone and wood structure built in 1850, and it is one of the grand houses in Buenos Aires. Casa Manila is the San Agustin Church. It is one of the famous and the oldest churches inside the walled city in Intramuros. It is the oldest church that is still standing in the country. We will truly really admire its grand antiquity because the design and the purpose of the still very impressive despite the The church is one of the four Baroque churches in the Philippines in the world in the United States and the world heritage. The burial place of the first Philippines Governor General Miguel Lopez de Legazpi can be found inside the church. After a four minutes walk from San Agustin Church, you will find the Manila Cathedral. Manila Cathedral, or known as the Cathedral Basilica of Immaculate and Saffron, is the oldest church in the country. It is one of the famous churches and tourist spots always visited by tourists in the church. During the occupation of the United States early in the 20th century, it is utilized as a military barracks by the Japanese Imperial Army during the Second World War. It was restored in 1950 and 1983. Chagol is a citadel built by Miguel Lopez de Legas. Its ruins can be explored, including the dungeons and pits where Filipino rebels were imprisoned. Also, this is the place where our national hero Jose Rizal was imprisoned before he was executed by the Spaniards. There is a museum inside the Fort Santiago where you can find the memorabilia of Jose Rizal.
shrine of Osarisa built with bricks as a barracks of the military. Well, this is the site of the prison cell of our national martyr hero, Osarisa. We are now entering the dungeons where Filipino rebels were imprisoned and lost their lives. and lost their lives. These are the places in Intramuros that are very famous because they played a very important role in the history of our country. They are the bittersweet memories of our colonial past. 